Okay. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Poké Duel. Episode 3. That last episode, we did get, uh... We did get our first gym badge from Rex Raptor. However, we only did so at a terrible cost. We lost half of our total team members to Rex's, uh... Rex's dinosaur ground types, and it's very, very devastating. Kariba the Hand Trap and Baby Dragon the Jonage. We lost them both. Um, and it's weird because without the two of them specifically, we would not have been able to win against Rex at all. So those two, they will not be forgotten. Their sacrifices will always carry with us. We'll always keep them. As you can see here, it's quite the memory they allowed us to keep making, because while I was gone off camera, I did some writing with the new experience share I got. So let's just start right here. At level 12, we have our new flame manipulator, Honda. Relax nature, blaze ability. You know, tackle leader, fire sweet ember. He's not going to be our main attacker for quite some time, because it's uh, not his purpose here. So up next is our adamant natured dark magician girl, Mana, unfortunately. Synchronize, as is of her ability. She knows confusion, tackle, charm, and attract. Of course, she knows charm and attract. Of course, she would. But seriously, a charm move like attract would help us out playing plenty in the kind of fights before. Especially against the mostly male melody. Our other, our third new capture would be Ryuzaki, the little dinosaur, who apparently evolves into Arabian skin. Serious nature, caught in Mount Moon, has a sand availability. And those scratch howl, sand attack, and magnitude. Oh, but even better. That little dinosaur I captured came with a free soft sand, which means that magnitude's damage, no matter what else he does, will automatically be 20% more powerful. Speaking of more powerful, it was a long time coming, but. <coughs> Our Lava Moth, Haga, skipped all the way from Evolved to Cocoon Evolution at level 10 and evolved into Great Moth at level 13. Modest Nature, Shield Dust Ability, Wing Attack, Sleep Powder, Negate, and Rekiwi Defense Mode. It was a tough choice between getting rid of um, Defense Mode or getting rid of Leech Life, which is our only bug type stab move, but. I decide that, but what the game does here is that it will, it's basically swagger but without the chance, but without the, uh, but without causing your opponent's attack stat to increase by two stages. So there's less risk involved in using confusion uh, as a ability. And last but not least, we have Joey the Red-Eyes Black Dragon, who did evolve in the last episode on camera as you know. All now. Blaze ability. Blaze ability instead of Keen Eye, which is probably going to buy us the neck later on, but who knows. Peck, Growl, Bite, and Ember. Okay, so this episode we're going to take on the rest of these guys and we're going to. We are going to. Complete all of Mount Moon as well. Oh, you're poison type. Interesting. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's go with Honda here, because Lover Moth should not be at a high enough level to fight. And I want to show off anyway. That's interesting. That almost looks like a bass sprite. So, but yeah, the reason I'm not really focused on. Honda's development is because we already have a fire type in our party. And really, Honda's mostly here so I can level him up as a backup in case something, god forbid, happens to our Red Eyes by Dragon.
fire spin as well. Remember, Cocoon Evolution evolves from Larvimoth to level 10. So this is actually an illegal evolution. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't want to get rid of defense mode in my um, Great Moth because of how incredible that is. We really think about it. Cosmic power up in a Nuzlocke for a several Pokemon is just going to be incredible. And I really don't want to go to the point where I... Uh, I don't want to get to the point where I end up losing so to anything less than a lucky crit. I don't need to wear shorts, sir. It's November. Why are you wearing shorts in the middle of November? Are you serious? Now we can use a track to show off how powerful it's going to be. <laughs> Immobilized by love. And that message will come up more often than not. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're never going to get rid of Attract simply because it's such a great way to stagger opponents. I can't believe you just get Dark Vision. I was expecting something useless, like... I fully expected you'd have to pay 500 bucks for a Karibo. Just imagine if that is what we would in our fate. That's insane. Oh yeah, we fought Taya at the half of the uh, Flame players. Flame players actually give a lot of experience. A lot of the what reason I was able to grind up my most of my party level uh, 19 is because they give nearly 100 experience on themselves. It's really nuts. But even the admin nature, uh... <coughs> even the admin nature, we got so many EVs from using the experience share to buy... Okay. Lucky number seven. Uh, we'll buy more potion. Uh, we'll buy. We'll buy two away. Just in case. Is released a new box, but I haven't finished clearing the last box. Konami! <laughs> oh, wait, kill the guard. He reminds me of Zelda. Alright, that's fair enough. I really want a baby dragon, so I'm trading my petite moth for one. I'm trading my Pokemon po okay, there. I had two petite moths, so I might as well trade one. That's right, the other saying I found. So I found a ton of stuff. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, sure. Oh, you know what? Sure, I'm a Pokemon friend. I am a Pokemon. I have Pokemon Lightning Rod. Sure. 
Yeah, that's a profile feature that's not really all important. Alright. Yeah, let's go to Mount Moonray. It's been 10 minutes in this episode and we haven't really done anything super significant. There's still one more trainer at the battle. The Shorts Man. Of course. I have a game about the Shorts Man here. Your beaver warrior probably agrees with you about how comfortable shorts are. Now, the Dark Magician girl shouldn't have an evolution. That's a thing I'm wondering about. You have quick attack? Like, some of these Digimon, I mean, some of these dual monsters don't look like they should have evolutions. Well, okay, Little Dinosaur definitely doesn't evolve into Gravy in, like, uh, the actual card game, so... Sure, I'm saying. So this Nuzlocke is going, uh... Yeah. We're basically good to go here. Um, we don't want our party to enter level 20 before Mount Moon, because... There's still a whole lot of traitors left in their battle. And... I'm not... I don't want to level grind... Over... The second gym leader is Ace Pokemon, so. Kamali once again attacks my wall with the latest box. How much money does this bring about it? Your deck size is with 46 cards. Can you can't read it? That sucks. I'm ready for local office. My first order of business was named Pokemon to Yugi Balls. There's no way I'll lose. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you for giving the experience, share. Okay. Bullet Seed. Uh... Catcher, so. Alright, what else can we catch in here? Beta the Magnet Warrior! Yeah, I'll just see if you're rock type. You're rock type. That was a critical hit, though. Oh, oh man. It's so pleasant to hear the ramp out music in this game. Suspicious man in the cave. What about him? Parasite. Let's see. I have no idea what the full name of that dual monster is supposed to be because I genuinely cannot. Oh, hey, it's my previous level. Cocoon Evolution. Dang it. Oh no, wait, Species Claws. I love Species Claws. But I wonder how long they'll be if I can actually go okay. Because this, like, I, I pretty much have to use this special version of Species Claws I put in this Let's Play in order to avoid being dupes of cards. I really. Cards. I just made, make my day a lot easier with cold cards. Swamp Battle Guard! Much as I really want to keep seeing other new stuff. I can't afford to waste any movements. I wish my friends were right here. Get off my back. Sure you are. Beta the Man and Warrior. Level 14. We're, we're switching up on that. Uh, for reasons out, why not? Uh, 
Yeah! Does it matter? Oh, are you lightning steel type instead of lightning rock type? the first sight of Team Rocket. Pokemon gangsters right fear the hearts of mankind without strength. Sure you do. Leave her away. And I don't know who else this could have been though. Like it would have been dope if every Team Rocket member in this particular uh, game was replaced with the Rare Hunters. It would have been awesome if the, uh, the creator of this ROM hack would have done that. Sprites and all. But then, because the sprites from these games are very clearly... from either Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards or Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef Destruction when they come to the, uh, the canon Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. I'm trying to learn Fury Swipes because you're gonna become Flame Swordsman when you level up. Star piece for selling, cool. I don't, I've never liked about Fire and Leaf Green was the, the uh, hint system they put in the games. Because it's like... Because it's obnoxious and you can do it in the middle of a fight too. Alright, let's see how much you take from Psycho Attacks. Your Rock type, at the very least. A rock electric. Oh! Well, okay. That's nice. That's cool. And that's what I have this Paralyzed Seal for. Heck, that's why I found that Paralyzed Seal in this uh, cavern. Yeah, so we're in the city through this cave. So anyway, speaking of Battle City, the dual monsters were very... Uh, the, Battle city, the Battle City arc is when the dual monsters began to resemble the gameplay and rule sets of the real-life card game. Now, back in Duelist Kingdom, 
The reason that the card game in the Duel of Kings was so different compared to Val City in what the card game was eventually like when Yu-Gi-Oh! released in real life is because Takahashi, the mangaka of the original manga, he had no idea that the actual card game would take off so well at first. So he had to come up with an actual rule set. And rules, like actual rules that people need to follow and remember. Rare K to automatically level up a dual monster. Escape rope to get out of here in case I need it. Yourself. Echo Fossil. Sometimes Rex a pure gem. So. Yeah, Re this is actually a nice reference to the fact that Rex will also. Rex was also estimating fossils in Canada in Yu Gi Oh! of Destruction. So making him the first gym leader taking Rock's place here is actually a really good idea. Hurt yourself in confusion, sir. Basic insects. What does basic insect evolve into? Insect armor with laser cannon or Herculean beam? Basic insect is such a weird card. Yeah. I'm not saying you're... Alright. <sighs> yeah, but... Yeah. So, in the manga, Takahashi was just basically playing Calvin Ball with the way the Yu-Gi-Oh! rules were actually going through half before. <clears throat> That's why he got so much infamous, infamous crap like... Attacking the moon with a giant soldier stone to cause all war monsters on the field to bleach on the shore and then dry out. Or catapult flying turtle guide the dragon knight. And it's precisely because of that that you will never see um, wacky and wild rule sets as commonplace or ridiculously out of tone for what the actual card game can do ever again in the later series. The, the rules are just too well thought out. And everything now is too consistent and too based in reality for that to have the same impact. Hey, I found Ether. Cool. And Ether is actually really great for long because you want to make sure you can keep up your best attack no matter what's going on. Like, if I want to use Confusion over again on Dark Magician Girl, I'm gonna run out to the, I'm gonna need that Aether to restore the PP. I wonder if there's any, any wrong packs out there that keep you from leaving a cave when you enter it. <clears throat> like, either as an optional difficulty setting or as an intentional part of the game design.
let's switch to the Yusaki. I mean, looking at it side by side, you can probably guess a little dinosaur is a pre evolved form of the Robbie, so it's weird. <clears throat> oh, Swap and Bow. Swap and Love Lab are just pal swaps. Hey, you're a fire type cool, man, because that wouldn't hurt the best. Man. The closest you'll ever get to the Duelist Kingdom era Calvin Ball rule sets is basically just Bow City and the fact that Bow City intentionally made up a new set of rules. Specifically the fact that Kaiba's dual disc system only had five card slots in it for every character to use. Not, not eleven card slots. Well, that's gonna get sold. We don't need five. So no slow, no do we? But straight up. Um, Only five physical card slots for you to actually play your monster cards and your spells and trap cards and your field spell cards. And that brings up one hilarious piece of ruin that only exists in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle City manga. If you remember from the anime when Dark Bakora played the Fiend Sanctuary Field Spell, <coughs> The yeah, anime, it always sounded pretty busted because all it really let Bakora do is play his spell and trap cards in the monster card zone, which he needed to happen in order to allow him the ability to play his Destiny War trap cards on that wing condition. Right? So that's already pretty busted by itself. However, in the manga, it's extra funny because it's explicitly pointed out by the main character in the manga that no matter what the physical card Fiend Sanctuary says Makora is allowed to do with his spells and trap cards, Kaiba's dual disc does not have enough room on him, on it, for uh, Dark Makora to actually physically place all five cards of his Destiny board trap card onto the dual disc in order to cause his automatic victory. He doesn't. Like, if you pare down his combo to just Dark Sanctuary, the Dark Door, and Destiny board, there's no way you can finish it. Then again, I haven't read the manga in a long time, so I'm not really sure how Destiny board actually worked in the manga. I feel like it was more like tokens that he places on a card once per turn. But then he kept mentioning the whole Destiny board thing, so I'm not sure. It's all Hogga, why not? But I use Hogga to show off uh, the gate here. Through. Haka is very much proud of his time. We're almost at the home stretch. Little moon sound. That's fine. 
Uh, buddy, it looks like someone beat you through those fossils, so I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Let's boost our attack with Howl. No! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. You're a grass type. Get Shrek. If that could have gone really badly, that could have gone really badly for me. Stab plus soft sand plus a howl. That could have gone really bad with me. Wow. I mean, I didn't really know Celtic Garden was a grass type, so it's like... I'm basically going into this as blind as I possibly can be. But I'm not going to call it a blind let's play just in case. You better share. We well, you took a fossil. No being greedy. You know what? I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna get the dome fossil. Sure. I like Kabu Tops more than On the Star. Alright. So, what's your deal here then? The Helix Fossil can be summoned after assembling all five pieces of the puzzle in your hand. The dome fossil was summoned after all five pieces of the puzzle in your graveyard. If I had a face cam, you guys would be looking at my face in confusion and awe right now. So, that wasn't that wasn't a choice between Alma Star and Kabatops. It was a choice between Exodia and Exodia Necros. Oh my god. Alright, Mount Moon's Ruin City. Alright, who can learn Mega Punch? Oh, yeah. That's me a kick over there. Move to your snap wrist thing right now. What are you doing there? Is everyone going to rock climb up? Link climbing. Oh. Oh, you suck. Sorry, sweetie. Daddy needs to optimize his Link Climb combo next week's world. Oh, wow. You, sir. So. Oh, it's Trishy. Okay, well, let's finish off this episode with Susie and Joey. Hold on there, man! I can't really go ahead for proving that you're strong enough. Pokemaniac Trish. Man, I gotta tell you, the sprite work on this is so clean compared to what I was expecting. Yeah, not all the sprites are bangers, and I feel like some of these are ripped directly from other Yu-Gi-Oh games out there. Just not sure which ones. But this guy clearly took his time to make these sprites as accurate as he possibly could to the partner. I really appreciate that, that 
that effort. Let's see what we have packed for this attack. Right, yeah. Right. Um. So, I feel like given how far I traveled in order to get from this area to... I'm going to count this as a separate area entirely because, frankly, it really does feel like we traveled to a completely new area. So, I'm going to get a location at Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to catch this a new Pokemon here. I feel like this... I'm going to count this as a new area. Basically, it's it. Okay. So, basic stats. Uh, yeah, uh, We're gonna just open the sleep then, basic attack, because that's the best way to increase your capture rate. Found traveling in swarms of creatures, ideal environment is the forest. We're gonna nickname you. We're gonna call you. Yeah, I don't feel bad. Yeah, that's perfectly fair. We traveled through a lot to get to that place. So I'm gonna do a capture. We're in the city. Cool. Alright, if I were a president, I would make trap cards illegal. Trap cards, from what I can tell, really aren't used that much in the modern game anyway, so you're really overreacting there, buddy. I can tell you, so look, you're an awful duelist. <laughs> that bill's real jerk. You stole my Yu Gi Oh cards. Really? That doesn't sound like Bill to me. Look at the pretty flowers. It almost sounds pretty like Jerry Beans, man. Jerry's a... Sorry, people are completely nuts. What's your problem, dude? Back in the day, we used to duel for our feet firmly planted on the ground. Nowadays, you have to duel your fancy motorbikes. That's the darn freedom. Oh, so they have riding duels here. Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! On bicycles! Yeah, okay, so... Kariba, little Karibo actually regrets creating that meme. Because it really just painted a very unfair picture of what the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! game was like for a lot of people. Banjo with the shower soon, their deck is a 40 plus card advantage. You should try it out. Who needs a girlfriend have you? Oh, that's just too sad. Alright, let's settle. Yeah! Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. And next episode, we're going to take on the Swimming Gym. Well, uh, we could do the rival battle right now, actually. Yeah, we could do the rival battle right now, actually. Just let me. Uh, yeah, let's do the rival battle right now, cause. If we have to do Revival now, it's gonna be... 
Because the rival battle, we have to do Surreal Gym and Nugget Bridge. All in the next episode, anyway, so. I need to take out the rival battle right now. Let's do that. Yo, Yu Gi Oh! You're still showing along back here? I'm doing great, Cop. I'm just trying to swap Pokemon. Let me see what we caught, Yu Gi Oh! Your Karibo, level 17. According to that to my stab, Joey. Good. Baby. Baby doesn't know anything that could actually. Baby's only a ground type, not pop. I mean, how do you want this now? Oh, we're gonna keep Dark Vision. We're gonna do this because we have Bite. Flinch! Yes! Flinch like you mean it. Let's, uh, we're going to hop. We'll use the gate. Whoa, no! Oh, there's a crit. Oh, my God. Let's go to Mana. Because you're a male who wise by dragon, so we can actually use a dragon. Item. That's right, stay immobilized by love. How the is it will evolve? Are you gonna become the flame swordsman like I predicted you would? Yes, you are. Hey, guess what? The bell's gonna show his rare dual monsters. That had a lot of pages to my, uh, Collector's team. After all, Bell's well, is famous as a dueling maniac. He invented the dueling sword system on PC2. Since you use the system, go thank him. Oh, yeah, I feel sorry if you're not really yours. Pal, I'm behind. So, yeah, give me a little something present. The fang checker is a. Yeah, All right, now we can end the video off. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we showed Pokemon, our rival, what's for. And I'll see you next time when we take on the new gym leader.